dad blowing up a big ball. Is that, is that your favourite? Is that your favourite, Fredo? Wait. Let's just wait for the other doggies. packages here. I did stumble across a few that had slipped down between other boxes and most likely have been there for a little while so apologies but um, this is one of those and this one is from uh, R. Weber in Toronto. So hopefully there's a first name in there somewhere we can thank you personally but Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Apologies about the lateness of this one. Lessons in balance. A dog's reflections on life. Oh, look at how cute that dog is. Oh, let me have a look. Hang on. <laughs> There's another one in the back balancing it. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. It is cool. Just read that little blurb at the back there. Think this bit or this just bit? Just down there, yeah, it sounds like. Uh, Scout, a rescued pit bull, has an uncanny ability to balance anything on his head. <laughs> Whether it's a sombrero or a single strawberry or a baseball, this patient pooch knows not to get overwhelmed by the challenges life throws at him. Once neglected, mistreated, and underfed, he now lives with a loving owner and there's nothing he can't balance. That's cool. Yeah, awesome. I love it. That's cool. <laughs> I've seen on YouTube how sometimes like they balance all these treats on their nose. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank yeah, you that's so cool. much. Thank you very much. So we're not sure the first name. No, is not it? sure the first name. Oh, oh there we, we go. go. Yep. Message. Yeah, so to the Evans family and pack at Doggy Daycare Farm Trips, I hope you enjoy this book as much as uh, we enjoy your videos from Reba. Oh, Reba, yep. Yep, that's it. Cool. Thank you, Reba. Thank you so much, Reba. Yeah. It's cool. It's a great Ooh, book. It is. I was having cool pictures in here, too. Uh, <laughs> that's adorable. So, uh, found a note in there for Reba about this book and saying, Dear Luke and Sam and all the family at Doggy Daycare Farm Trips, I wanted to send you this book because I enjoy your channel so much. It gives me and everyone who follows you such joy. I wanted to share some joy with you and your children. 
This book is about a dog named Scout, uh, who's rescued in Toronto, Canada, where I'm from. He was rescued when pit bull dogs were banned in the province. Um, any dog that animal control or other authorities deem to be a pit bull or pit bull-like were banned. Uh, the ones who were currently alive and neutered, spayed uh, at the time the law was um, enacted were grandfathered. Uh, Scout was one of them. But they had to wear muzzles in public, always, uh, and if anyone complained about anything, uh, they could be taken away. So, sounds like it's pretty serious over there, um, although the Pitbull Terrier is also uh, banned here in Australia. The restrictions are a little bit more severe here. They are not allowed in public. Um, they have to be... Uh, they have to be muzzled on lead, uh, even whilst on your property. And when you're not, when they're not on lead, they need to be in a cage on your property. Uh, so they are quite serious here with with those kind of rules. Um, I think in uh, New South Wales they're called restricted breeds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you if you declared a dangerous dog, it's a different set of rules again. But, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're um, specific to the dog, not the breed, that's isn't right. it? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Any, any dog can be labelled dangerous dog, yep. depending on behaviour. Um, but the restricted breeds, sorry, a dangerous dog is one that's not allowed in public, I believe. Maybe the restricted breeds are, but they have to be muzzled and on lead. But I know at home, restricted breeds can't run free like this off lead in your own property. They need to be caged, which is pretty serious. Um, yeah, I think in Australia, we sort of get around it a little bit the American Staffy yeah. is a breed that we're allowed but the American Pitbull Terrier is not they are very similar yeah I think I think the, I think the reason why um, maybe everyone's a little bit gray on it is because of that yeah. you know because um, I think it's a it's a breed that us Australians have made up to declassify that breed yeah. it's all a bit in Australia a bit they've we've We've really simplified it um, into mm. English stuffy or American stuffy, and there's nothing else, yeah. you know. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So it is. It is uh, a shame that you know those dogs have got such a bad rap that they've been banned. They've had irresponsible owners that cause them problems, and then therefore they've just restricted the whole breed. But um, thank you very much for the book, and thank you for sharing it with us. Really appreciate it. Who's it from? The address doesn't say. It just has a PO box. Okay. What a thing you need. Cassie's tail. Oh, I think there's a letter in there. Uh, Paddles the platypus. These are cool. Hello, Miss Violet. Here we go. Uh, Sam and Luke, two books for you to read to Ellen and Evie in your spare time. <laughs> spare, <laughs> inverted commas. Uh, I live in Cassowary Coast Regional Council area of far north Queensland. Cool. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So these cassowaries are these ones. Yeah. They're a big flightless bird. They're our biggest flightless bird, I think. Oh, no, they're not. They're smaller than the emu, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are smaller than any. They're pretty impressive. They are, they are impressive. Um, we'll just oh, move these right over okay, here. Okay, mate. Ready, go. Uh, the blue and black butterflies are Ulysses. Ulysses, yep. Uh, as they flutter around, you see flashes of brilliant blue. The blue fruit that cassowaries eat is the... Uh, Kwandong. Kwandong Egg or Kwandong. Oh, yeah. Mm, I might be saying that wrong. Apologies about that. Uh, native to forests in uh, Eastern Australia. Bobby is a... Lamhole. Not sure about that. Mm. Lamhole's tree? Mm. Kangaroo? No. Oh, Bobby so that's a... Bobby. Something... Bobby must be in the book. Maybe, maybe Bobby's a character. Oh, gee, that's a 
very cool card. Can't stop looking at that one. Look at that. I don't know if that's coming up holographic on the camera. It's very cool. If you move it now, maybe. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Awesome, it's Isn't like a it? 3D one. Yeah. The girls will think that's Very great. Cool. They will, definitely. Um, probably found on the Atherton Tablelands west of Cairns. Uh, Luke, perhaps you've sailed these waters in the Great Barrier Reef. I have, but I have not set foot up there outside of um, some of the major cities where we've pulled in. So I haven't seen any of the uh, the countryside in far north Queensland. I've only seen the coastal regions. Uh, definitely on my bucket list. Are you ready, mate? Here you go. Well, thank you very much. That is really cool. Caramine Beach, North Queensland. It looks beautiful, yeah, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Far north Queensland is amazing. However, we do have the Irukandji and the saltwater crocodile. <laughs> yeah. Along with all the, you know, top five dangerous snakes. Just a few extra to add to you in the far north Queensland, far north uh, northern Australia. But that's amazing. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I can't stop putting that. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to look at it all day. Look mm. at it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing how they do that. Yeah. Doggy daycare. This is um, Gus's favourite thing to do. It is, it is. What's in here, Gus? Opening up presents. Uh, this is from Dorothy in Seaford, New York. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, yes, I see some piggies. Herself into the game, isn't she? <laughs> there's a, quite a few toys in here. Oh, there's a couple of presents there that I don't want to get wet, so I'm going to just quickly move them out of the way because the doggies are bananas at the moment. Oh, a couple of frisbees! Freddo! Oh, God! Oh, dear. Guys, Gus, where's your table manager, mate? <laughs> Okay. They love um, present opening. They do. Look how excited they all are. On this one. Let's see if this one lasts. Look at her. She's got one in her
blow it up. A giant tennis ball, yeah. that's cool. It is cool, I'll have to blow that up and uh, get it out there. But thank you very much, lots of awesome doggy toys there. This is from Dorothy. Dorothy in New York. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you. Here's another Amazon package. Does it say Did you find a note in there, Bossy Boy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. To the pups at the Big Daycare Farm Trip, love you all, enjoy your new toys, love Dottie from Long Island, New York, enjoy your gift. Thank you so much Dottie. Dottie aka Dorothy. Oh that's so cool. All these awesome frisbees. Yeah, yep, they're all the same. Oh, excellent, thank you Dorothy. And guess what, Fredo? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I totally missed it, but Miss Violet just went for a swim. Yeah, I mean, being... I didn't see the beginning, so I don't know if she, she fell swam, in. She swam well, but she's been walking in and out along that um, platform. And so she's obviously just getting... I don't know, but she more... I only saw the last um, like couple of meters and she was swimming, well. swimming incredibly. Yeah. Oh, that, I would hope I could get to see that again. I know, that was cool. I don't know. I don't know if she fell in though. So. She might have, but she did well. She did well. Well, yeah, out. that's right. I guess um, we know that if she falls in, she can save herself. Oh, you're such a good girl. You are so clever. You are so clever. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so it's a hot day today. It is warm. One of the first probably like pretty warm days, isn't it, of spring? Yeah. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, I think, or this afternoon, but warm enough for you to go for a swim. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. I'll probably regret it straight away. <laughs> depending on the water temps being cold the last few weeks. Let's give it a go. The dogs always love it when you get in too. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Let's do this. <laughs>
momentum when she's one to go. Just needs to do it a few times and yeah. she'll probably do it every time. Should we go feed the other goats now? Can we give them some pellets? Not for you. Oh, yucky, Wolfie. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh. Sunflower, you are bossy. Good girl, Shadow. Good girl, Shadow. Good girl. Good girl. See, X 
excavator, isn't it? Da, da, excavator. Oop. Oopsie. Be careful, buddy. Close the gate, mate. The gate's on this side. We'll shut the gate. Ah, ah. Yeah, shut the gate. That's it. Right. Yeah. We've got to be on the other side. Yeah, the chain. We're going to chain it up. We're supposed to be on the other side, though, mate. That's it. Yeah, that's it, buddy. You chain it up like that. Eee. Oh, we're locked in. Should we go to the other side? We'll go with the doggies. That's it. Come through. I'll show you, I'll show you how to do it. You cut, the, there's a hole in the fence for it. Here, look, 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 look. Here, watch, ready? Come around this way. Let's see if we reach in there. Reach. That's it. Oh, there we go. That's it, now you chain it up there. That's it, bang. All done. Day's work, Mama. 